Welcome to another trip down the Bourbon Road with your hosts, Jim and Mike. So grab a glass of your favorite bourbon and kick back. We would like to thank our friends at Premium Bar Products for sponsoring this episode. If you're ready to step up your game at your home bar, check out premiumbarproducts.com to choose from their wide selection of glassware, all of which can be custom engraved with your personal message or logo. And there's no minimum order. So after the episode, head over to premiumbarproducts.com and check out everything they have to offer. Now, let's get on with the show. Hello, everybody. I'm Jim Shannon. And I'm Mike Hyatt. And this is The Bourbon Road. And today, Mike, it is another Craft Distillery Monday. Hard to believe we've gone this long and we haven't had Smooth Ampler on. Yeah, they're right down the road, right? Yeah, I mean, well, right down the road. I mean, Greenbrier, West Virginia, right? I mean, this is uh, this is uh, kind of Greenbrier. That's that's like a destination, isn't it? Yeah, I've been to the Greenbrier before. Uh, the Greenbrier Resort is a place where presidents stay. It's, it's beautiful there. Um, but when I think of West Virginia, I think of John Denver. John Denver, yeah. Country Road. You know that song's not about West Virginia, though, right? Take me home. About Virginia. <laughs> West Virginia. <laughs> I need to stop singing right now. Smooth Ambler uh, is something that we haven't tried before. Are they craft distillery? Yeah, sure. Why not? Why not? Absolutely. Well, I, I think they are. Um but you see a lot of their picks out and stuff. You see them doing a lot of picks, but you also see the regular stuff on there. They got some not popular stuff out there. Big level is one of their stuff that a lot of people hit on a little bit. I I personally, I like to drink it because it's weeder. <laughs> I'm a weeder guy. I want to try everything that's wheat. Yeah. Um, well, big level wasn't my jam, but you know, a lot of people um, like that. Like that. It's just not for me, but yeah. You got to really like weeded bourbon to like big level, but this is not big level. We're drinking today. We're drinking the Old Scout 107. Now, 107, you'll see it in your stores, right? I mean, you go out to your local liquor store and you're going to see 107 in there from Old Scout. Usually it's a pick. And uh, this one's from John O's. It doesn't matter. For us, it's a representative sample. Yeah, I mean, usually, usually, whenever we get something from a distillery, they're 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 going to cherry pick it. They're going to try to send us something special, anyways. Um, and you bought this. How much did this run you? This was about forty five dollars. It came out of John O's Liquors in uh, Elizabethtown, Kentucky. I think John O's has a couple of locations. They have one in Litchfield. They have one in Elizabethtown. Uh, but this particular bottle, uh, it's very typical of a, a smooth amber pick, a one hundred seven pick. About 45 bucks. So this is is an American whiskey, right? This is not a bourbon. Um, it's a blend, 28% bourbon, right? And 72% American whiskey. Yeah. So this is the, the, the reason I wanted to review this, Mike, is because it's 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 on the shelves. A lot of a lot of liquor stores are gonna have this one out there. It's gonna have it on their pick shelf, you know, of their local picks. Uh, 107 proof is nothing to laugh at. That's right in the range, I would say. And this has got some older whiskey in it. Uh, the bourbon is 12 years old, and then the uh, American whiskey is six years old. Yeah. So that's that. That's a pretty decent whiskey. Yeah. So I'm I'm excited to try it. It's a like I said, it's amazing that so much time has gone by and we haven't had this on the show yet. But I'm ready to try it. Well, let's let's nose this. Let's thing. do it. Man, that's that's butterscotchy. That's very butterscotch for me. I get the same thing. That butterscotch, um, what you know, I wouldn't call it a butterscotch bomb, but those uh, butterscotch van- deep vanillas, like vanilla bean. A little bit of uh, ethanol on the nose there. Okay. It is one hundred seven proof, so it's going to hit you a little bit. Um, but you know, that's one of the things that's. It kind of pops out at me. Caramel, butterscotch. Yeah, butterscotch caramel. Kind of a creamy, a little bit of a creamy nose. 
I just got whiskey beard. I tipped it, <laughs> tipped a little bit of whiskey in my beard. A little bit of fruit, not too much. Not a whole lot of fruits on there. Um, more cereal notes on this for me, like Cheerios, not honey nut Cheerios, just plain old Cheerios on this one. Yeah, Cheerios is a good call out. Not like that oat bourbon we drank a little while ago. No. Yeah, let's taste it. Let's do it. Oh, that's buttery. Buttery, um, butterscotch, a little bit of hot buttered popcorn, a little bit of nuttiness. How about a kick in the chest as a Kentucky hug, man? Yeah. That's going way down deep. Yeah. So for me, Mike, this is uh this is buttery, nutty, popcorny kind of you getting popcorn? I don't know. For me, it's making me talk like Barry White for some reason. <laughs> Barry White. Uh, yeah, I, I, I get that. That Cheerio cereal on this. Um super buttery, you know. Almost like you'd pour cream over your Cheerios uh instead of milk. Um it's very viscous. 107 proof. Jim, I had to tell you, man, this sucker drinks like about 120, 125. Yeah, it, it'll wake you up. This is uh this is a cool weather whiskey, no doubt about it. I think that uh, for me, you know, I've always kind of leaned towards the acetyl whiskeys, the ones that have that buttery, um butterscotchy, um, nutty kind of flavor to them. This is this is kind of in my wheelhouse. Now, is it a bourbon? No. Is it uh is it kind of got that sweet up front kind of bold bourbon flavor? No. This is more of an American whiskey, kind of a a softer, buttery kind of flavor to it. But it's it's hot. Have you ever had a cow's tail candy? No. Oh yeah, yeah. It's it's butterscotch over a cream. Yeah, yeah, I've had those that, before. That's this is right here. It's, yeah. it's got that sweetness to it. If you let this sit on your tongue a little bit, um, super sweet. Not dessert bourbon. It's got a big kick to it. Um, this is definitely a grown woman whiskey, big boy whiskey, whatever you want to call it. Um, man, what a great pick, Jim. Yeah, I think it's all right, Mike. I I don't know how much difference there are between the different single barrels or the different picks of the old scout 107 but if they're similar at all i would say it's a great try 45 bucks it's a reasonable price um this is a west virginia company they've got uh they've got a little bit of history been around a while now i'd I'd tell you this about this jim um for 45 bucks well, this is pretty spectacular for a blended whiskey. It's not American whiskey. It's not a bourbon. It's a blended whiskey. Um, like we said, super buttery, cow's tail candy, whatever you want to call it. Not a dessert whiskey. Now, if you're looking to step out of the box, this will be it right here. Man. Now, John O's, uh, is that a pretty fair priced uh, store down there? Yeah, I think it's a good place to stop. If you're, if you're coming up from Tennessee and you're heading towards Louisville, um, or you're coming up from Point South on I-65 and you're heading to Louisville, about an hour, well, 45 minutes before you hit Louisville, there's a little town called Elizabethtown. Um, yeah, John O's is there, and I think it's a fair price. I think they've got some good selection there, and it's a good place to stop. I would say check them out. Now, this thing has a super long finish on it. Um, it is just sticking with me. It just coats your mouth with, with sugar goodness. Yeah, I don't know that it, you know, you'll be able to get this particular pick. And if this one stands out as an exceptional pick, I'm sorry, folks, but, you know, I think it's definitely worth giving them a try. Yeah, I'd say if you can just find an old Scout 107, um, even if it's not a pick, go ahead and try to buy one of them and stuff. You'll see a lot of groups out there on Facebook uh, getting these picks and stuff. Uh, they're, they're a hot commodity lately. Yeah. And if you can get to Greenbrier, West Virginia. What a great place to spend the weekend with your honey. Yeah, I mean, if whether you're a, a woman that your husband doesn't drink bur- bourbon, he he drinks White Claw or, or vodka, or, or if you're a guy and your wife likes to drink a little wine, still a beautiful place to visit. Um, go check this place out. Uh, help support local local distilleries. Um, 
you're not going to go wrong. Stay at the Green Bar. I mean, stay at the Green Bar. If you Absolutely. can get reservations there. Yeah. Yeah. Because Green Bar is kind of a throwback to 1800s aristocracy, right? Yeah. A little bit. Um, you know, you had to have some money to stay back there in a the day. Yeah. Um, so something we're doing here lately, Jim, is once a week, we're trying to do a live. Um, we've been on Facebook. We've been on YouTube now. Um you know, we're, we're going to try to to engage our listeners a little bit more. So, listeners, if you're listening to this uh, and you're not into Facebook, you can catch us on YouTube now. And we'll try to do it once a week. I'm, I'm mainly in there. Jim's not the social butterfly usually, uh, but I'll Jim's, pop in. Jim's going to pop in there and say hi to everybody and help me answer questions because it's hard to kind of be the moderator on a show like that and answer those questions. So Jim's going to be my technical support. He does that for a living anyways. Uh, he's great at that. Um, so um, come check us out. Yeah, come check us out. So Mike is doing this. Uh, it's been the last couple of Tuesdays, right? Oh, yeah. Big Cheese Bar Night is something you're going to want to check out. Uh, I just have a good time in there. I'm just sitting there bullshitting on people, um, mainly listeners. We don't do big guest on there might do big guest here and there it's a virtual bar night it's a virtual bar night um something if you you put your kids to bed your wife went to bed you're alone sitting there or if your husband went to bed come check us out um and you never can tell i might send you an invite and say hey pop in here with me and i usually try to have four or five people in there with me to talk um i give our spiel we talk about bourbon news in there what's going on in the bourbon world um because there's Always something going on, right? Yeah. So if if you join our Bourbon Roadies, and that's our private Facebook group, um, you come onto Facebook, you look at uh, at that page, you'll see our groups. If you click on the Bourbon Roadies and join up, you answer three questions. We want to make sure that uh, you're 21, that you understand you're getting yourself into a bourbon group, and that uh, that you're going to play nice because we absolutely want to make sure that. Everybody in our group gets along. We don't want anybody pouncing on anybody else. Yeah, we're that good family that uh, everybody does get along in there. Um, and the moderators do a good job of uh, keeping everything clean in there. So come and join our group. And we're 1,500 strong right now. We're growing every day. By this time next year, who knows? We might be in a 6,000 range. Um, but if you're in that group, you will get the notification. You'll get that information that we've got a live event coming up and mike's going to go live <laughs> he's going to be pouring whiskey and talking to everybody you also get for this year only 10 percent discount off any of our swag in our facebook the bourbonroad.com right jim yeah if you're a bourbon bullshitter you got to get the t-shirt you got to wear that shirt and i showed somebody that shirt today and girl said I, I wear that thing um and i can't i can't wait to this summer and we're going to be down at the Kentucky Bourbon Festival. And I see people walking around with our shirts on. Man, my head might blow up, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Make a note. If you come to the Kentucky Bourbon Festival, wear your bourbon bullshitter t-shirt, right? Yeah, it's not 100% cotton. Um, it's a blend. I think it's 50-50 or something like three blends of t-shirt whatever the t-shirt is it's a nice t-shirt yeah. um so uh, make sure you wear that t-shirt make sure you uh try to come down there i'm excited about the festival this year i've been checking it out jim i've been checking out places for us to stay down there we're gonna make a weekend out of it i think uh take our wives down there just have a good time i found a manor that has a spa at it for our wives oh my goodness so me you can drink as much bourbon as we want and get away with it yeah no, we're not gonna get in any trouble this time <laughs> yeah <laughs> all right well mike we do two of these shows a week we do a long version every wednesday and a short version like this every monday where we sort of focus on a craft distillery today it's been smooth ambler and their old scout release um it's been a great episode with this release i think for me it's a thumbs up no doubt about it um I, i'll drink this anytime with you buddy you know, I was a little hesitant about opening this bottle, but you brought it in and I was like, okay, I, you know, I'm a eyes wide open kind of guy that uh, likes to look at everything with an open lens, I guess. Um, and man, you totally shocked me. A great um, bottle of whiskey, man. It, spectacular. Yeah. I always like to, to sort of zero in on those butterscotch bourbons. You, you know butterscotch whiskeys. You know I love those too, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I, I totally love this. And we actually got a new listener uh, this uh, week. Daniel Price in our uh, Bourbon Roadies group. 
Um, he's from West Virginia. He's from that area and stuff. So uh, I'm going a, I'm to a put him on this right here and tell him they should get a bottle. He should. Absolutely. Well, Mike, we want to hear what everybody has to think about, uh, you know, upcoming episodes. Do you want us to have on a particular expression do you want us to have on a particular guest is there some local distillery in your state in your town in your city that you think is deserving of a of a little bit of exposure on the bourbon road we'd love to hear about them there's a hundred different ways you can reach us we're on every social media right now you can reach us on instagram on facebook twitter youtube tiktok um i don't know what else is out there really uh, at the bourbon road we have our website uh, the bourbon road.com. You can leave us a comment on there or you can just reach out to us personally. And we'll, trust me, we'll, we'll see those messages. We're going to respond back to you. Um, and, uh, and if you're coming to the bourbon trail, if you're coming to Louisville, Kentucky, you're coming to Frankfort, Kentucky, you're coming to Bardstown, Kentucky. If your destination is the bourbon trail, we want to know about it. We'll do everything we can to meet up with you. Won't we Mike? Most definitely. All right. So the best way for you to help us reach other people is to subscribe to our show. Make sure that uh, if you're listening to this episode and you like what you hear, uh, you scroll all the way to the top of your screen and you hit that subscribe button. Yeah. I mean, you want to scroll down though, but you want to leave us that review, right? Um, Absolutely. You want to give us a five star because you know, you're listening to us right now. You know, you love us. You love the big chief. You love Jim. You love what we're doing. You love these reviews. Uh, so hit that five star. If you got to leave a one star, just please tell us, uh, be kind to us and tell us what we can do better to improve that and see if we can change your mind later on down a, a bourbon road. And so you can give us a five star, uh, be honest with us. Like we are honest with our reviews. Um, yeah. Don't be hesitant. Reach out to us. Let us know what you think. You can always reach me on Instagram at jshannon 63. I'm one big chief. And we will see you down the bourbon road. Well, you know, you can't drink whiskey without glassware. And Mike and I are extremely pleased to have a sponsor like Premium Bar Products. Premium Bar Products offers direct-to-consumer the finest whiskey glasses, cocktail glasses, and bar tools with your own personal engraving. I mean, you can write anything you want on these glasses, anything from a company logo to a personal statement, and there are no minimum orders. Their direct consumer platform offers you the opportunity to purchase small quantities of your favorite glass shapes that enhance the pleasure of enjoyment and drinking of whiskey and make it all very positive. They offer the absolute finest trending and handmade glasses as well as a comprehensive range of styles and all of their items have been designed with purpose, practicality, and longevity in mind. So if you're a bourbon or whiskey group and you need custom logos, you need to reach out to Premium Bar Products. If you're an individual, you just want a few for your bar, to impress your friends, to give out as gifts, you need to call Premium Bar Products. They need to be your one and only source for custom glassware. I can tell you right now, the Bourbon Road, that's who we use. Janie and Carson and the team there at Premium Bar Products will take care of you. They'll treat you like family and they'll take care of you with every order.